Hi everyone, it's Echo again. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed my first video where I um, showed you some of the jewelry I got from that lot that I purchased. Um, this is going to be more of the same. So if you didn't like the first video, uh, you probably shouldn't watch this one because um, you probably wouldn't like it either. Um, but if you did like the last one, you might like this one as well. Um, so I'm not going to chat too much. I'm just going to get right into the jewelry. And again, I do apologize for my squeaky chair. I really needed to, need to replace it. Let me get the first piece here. I think this might actually be vintage. I've never quite seen anything like this. It's a adjustable um, necklace with a kind of a hook closure. I don't think we, they really tend to make those like that anymore. And here's the main part of the, the necklace. It's actually really, really unique. I haven't seen anything like that before. That's really cool. It's really small too. But yeah, that's a lot of detail. Um, it looks like, um, like pink moonstone almost. But yeah, that's really cool. It's always nice to see something unique, you know, um, you know, buying and selling a lot of jewelry, you tend to see a lot of the, the same styles over and over. So when you do see something, you know, different, it's kind of refreshing. So here's a cute little beaded necklace, a little choker, purple flowers. It's nothing too special, but kind of cute. And next piece. Kind of a green moonstone. I would call it like a karma bracelet. I like how the light catches the, the beads on it. That's nice. Here we have a really pretty, almost like a pewter tone, um, Celtic knotwork brooch. And it uh, has a sticker on the back. I don't know if you can see that. But it says uh, Papal Giftware, um, a cast art company. Never heard of them before, but really cool brooch. I like that a lot. Um, I actually have two tattoos and they're both of Celtic knotwork. So I approve of that brooch very much. All right, next piece. This actually has some weight to it. This is really cool. Um, I've actually gotten kind of a almost, I would say almost matching um, bracelet to this. Um, where it has like this metal work and then like, I want to say, I don't know if they're stones or if little, I think they're like little bits of stones that are like inlaid along with the, you know, in the, in the metal, but they're really, they're really neat and it gives it some, quite a bit of weight. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have a, I've gotten a bracelet that I think is still for sale in my Mercari shop. Um, that's like identical to this. But yeah, very unique and very pretty. Look at that. Just really detailed. Um, I don't know if they're made by a company or if they're if they're handmade, but yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. Very cool. Come here, friend. There you go. Okay. We have a little I don't know if this is a moose or maybe a little, I'm guessing since it looks a little Christmassy, it's probably a reindeer, a little reindeer brooch done in different, uh, different metals. That's kind of cute. Just, uh, that's all. I think that's like handmade. Cool. And next we just have a simple plain white bangle. 
these simple bangles are always fun because you can always stack them with various colors. I always get a bunch of those and usually sell them together. So the next one is a bright yellow round beaded necklace. There's that. I'm trying to go a little bit faster in this video so I can show um, more jewelry because I know that's what you guys are here for, not to hear me go on and on. So here's um, a hinged, I think it's got to be, got to be a hinge somewhere. Yeah, I, th I think, oh yeah, it has a clasp there with a little chain. Um, gold tone bracelet. That's actually really beautiful with the the beads there and the faux pearls. At least I'm guessing they're faux, pearl, faux pearls, not not genuine. Um, I don't see any hallmarks or anything on the inside, but yeah, that's neat with the mesh there on the outside. Very cool. Doo -doo. Ah, that's a big piece. Okay. a multi-strand necklace that I'm trying to figure out how it goes. Um, not quite sure. Hmm. Maybe, maybe like that. I don't quite know because it has a couple different closures on it. Hmm. Kind of neat. I know I saw a tag somewhere. Oh yeah, there's a tag here. Um, WHBM, so that would be White House Black Market. Their stuff is pretty nice, so that's cool. But yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if these are two separate pieces and somebody hooked them together or or what but there's a lot of there's a lot of clasps going on here um, yeah there's like four different clasps on here so I, I don't know I'll figure that out later I'll do that later okay here's a funky little melon orange uh, beaded bracelet that's kind of cool interesting texture to that the, the texture around this reminds me of the like ball pits um, in like Chuck E. Cheese and you know places like that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, right. This is, oh, this is cool. So I think this, you would actually tie these. Let me just do that. Do, do, do. There we go. Yeah, that's actually neat. And then with the gray shiny beads and the gold tone there, it's a nice little statement piece. What else do we have? Do, do, do. Like I said in the other video, some of these pieces come kind of tangled together so and I haven't touched any of this so kind of have to untangle as I go here's a really pretty bohemian almost tribal looking piece beaded and a statement bib necklace that's gorgeous and again everything I've pulled out so far from um my first video and this video both have have all been in really nice condition. I really haven't noticed anything um, with any major damage, um, so that's that's great. You know, usually I find things with missing stones or beads that have fallen off or you know what have you. But so far, I've had really good luck. So let's hope that continues. Okay, here's. Um, a gold tone herringbone chain that's also in really nice condition very shiny 
and the tag on it says Korea. So apparently it was made in Korea because I don't think there's a brand called Korea, but you never know. There are a lot of brands out there. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this. Look at this bug. I think it's a ladybug. How cute is that? Look how sparkly. Oh my goodness. That is just bedazzled. Oh, oh my goodness. That is just rhinestone encrusted. Is it missing any? I would assume that it would be because I, I mean I buy everything secondhand so something with this many rhinestones I would think it would be missing one ah it is it's missing one but still with this I mean there's got to be 30 rhinestones on here it is missing one rhinestone but that's not bad at all it's just right over here on the on the side you know it's just missing one so not bad it has some wear on the on the band where it's been worn but again that's not a huge not a huge deal. Um, I've seen a lot worse. So that's still really pretty. Very cool. Let's see what else we have. Here's a little Jaguar or like stylized almost, um, I would say like art deco style, um, black Panther brooch. That is really neat. Look at the style on that guy. That is very cool. And he is in great condition as well. Yeah, I don't see any condition condition rather issues with him. Not signed on the back, but that's okay. Still a really nice little brooch. That's cool. That's gotta be vintage. That does not look modern. Okay, here's another little brooch with an angel on it. It says, uh, faith, love, truth, and hope. And it has some rhinestones on there. That's nice. Um, and it is signed on the back, and that's going to be Premier Designs. I don't know if you can see that on there but it has the the crown with the laurel leaf and then the the PD on the um, in the middle I know my my camera phone is really bad so sorry about the bad quality hopefully at some point I'll be able to get a better camera once I start doing more videos so okay I keep pulling out brushes let's go with something else for a second Okay, here's a pretty cool little double strand bracelet, silver tone, and sparkly, black and silver beads. That looks to be in pretty good condition too. A little bit of wear, but nothing too major. Okay, here's a pretty little cuff. Silver tone has some really nice, um, like filigree or floral and vine designs on it. Um, I don't see any markings on the inside, but the color is right for sterling, so it might actually be sterling. So I'll, um, I'll have to acid test this later. But yeah, that's a that's a really cool little piece. Nice find. Alrighty, what else? That's a cool chunky necklace. The wooden beads and then the sparkly beads mixed in there. That's adjustable. Again, in great condition. That's cool. Ugh, chair, be quiet. It's talking to me. All right, that's a neat bracelet. It's like surrounded in beads, kind of thick. Kind of brass or bronze tone beads. And then with the little, the rainbow ones every so often. That's a neat piece.
Okay, here's a really pretty necklace. And I know without looking that this is Kenneth Cole because I swear to you I have the exact matching earrings for the for this. So let me see if I'm if I'm right. Casey, yeah, Kenneth Cole. Yeah. Yeah, I have the matching earrings for this. That's how much jewelry I buy is I can buy lots from like completely separate places and I end up with like matching suites, you know, or sets. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to have to find the, the earrings and so I can put that together. That's awesome. Yay, we're on the board with a designer. That's always fun. What else do we have? Plenty of shinies. I feel like this box is still so full. I haven't even like made a dent in it doesn't even look like I've touched it. Okay, so here's like almost like a toggle style necklace with the, I want to say it's almost like a dove with an olive branch. Let me show you closer. That's really cute. Let's see? Yeah, that's kind of neat. I haven't seen one like that. It's actually a really cool design. Yeah. Very neat. Not signed, but again, that's okay. I was like getting stuff that's a little bit different than what I've had before. Variety is the spice of life, as they say. Come here, you... Got a little tangled. Ah, I got it. All right. This is a nice big pendant. You can see the size on that. Oh, that's very cool. I like the design there. With all the different circles. It's very zen. So there's the back of it. And it's on that black cord. When I was um, a teenager and then on into my early 20s, I pretty much collected these black cord necklaces. And I wore up to like 10 of them at the same time. <laughs> um, I think I probably still have a couple of them. But, um, but yeah, I absolutely love these black cord necklaces. I was, um, I would probably call it obsessed. Yeah, if I saw one in a store, I I pretty much didn't matter what was on it. I would buy it. Um, I I still like them, but I I don't absolutely have to have them. Um, that's an interesting pendant. It's like an old skeleton key just by itself. It's like a cameo style with a with a hummingbird on it. It's gorgeous. It's also very unique. It's, it's very cool. The nice big bezel. Oh, and the bezel actually has a couple stones on it. My fingers were covering them up so I didn't see them before. See them sparkle? Yeah, that's really cool. I totally didn't notice those. That's a really gorgeous piece. My goodness, I love that. It's funny because nowadays, because um, I've I've gained a lot of weight due to a couple of um, um, long-term medical conditions, um, so I don't tend to wear a lot of jewelry anymore. Um, but I I still very much appreciate and love it. Um, but yeah, if I if I did wear jewelry anymore, I that that would be one of the pieces that I would probably wear like crazy and keep for myself. Um, all right, next piece is brand new on card Willow Bay stretch ring, and I don't know if you can pick up the color. It looks like you can. Uh, looks like pink. Um, stones around there and then one orange one in the middle creating a flower 
that's just precious. That is really cute. Original price, $20. Not bad. Considering I paid probably, I'd say probably, um, I think for this lot, I paid uh, about $30. Yeah, 30 to $35 for this entire box of jewelry. Um, so, um, yeah, not, not too shabby. I'm doing all right. I think, I think I'll make my money back and then a, a little bit. <laughs> all right, next piece. Ooh, it's another unique one. This is really cool. I'm just going to slip that over my head for a minute to, to show you guys. I'm kind of surprised at the amount of unique stuff that's coming out of here. You know, usually it's just a lot of the, kind of the same old stuff, but see the detail on that? Almost looks like an old style coin or something. And the, looks like, that might be like real leather dangles there. I'm not sure, but then there's the back of the pendant. Yeah, that's, this is a really interesting piece. Wow. Yeah, I've never seen anything quite like that. I don't see any any maker's marks or anything, but yeah, that one's really, really cool. I always gravitate towards these, you know, these unique and different pieces. Um, you know, I just find them fascinating. So. Ooh, I love the colors on this. I could check this out. Not that unique per se, but um, purple's my, my favorite color, and after that, it's green. So I'm loving the colors on this, obviously. This is just really pretty. So, yeah, that's nice. And has a bit of stretch to it, which is always a good thing. Hi. Do -do -do. There's still so much jewelry here. Oh my gosh. Okay, here is another one. This looks like a, probably a, a I'll say simulated uh, turquoise bracelet, but you never know. But I don't think that's real. Um, call me skeptical or pessimistic or whatever you want, but you know. And these big lots, I don't ever expect to get, um, you know, real turquoise, um, just because of, I, I don't pay very much for them and they're advertised as, you know, being, um, costume jewelry. And for the most part, that's, that's what they are. But, um, I mean, once in a while I'll get lucky and, and get, you know, a piece of sterling silver, um. There's been a couple times where I've I've gotten um, something with some semi-precious stones, or um, a couple times now I've gotten um, a couple pieces of gold, but that doesn't happen very often. Um, but for the most part, it is um, just costume jewelry. But I've done pretty well with it, you know. And it's more than anything, it's just you know kind of fun um, buying you know these big lots and going through them and kind of cleaning up the ones that need to be cleaned up and then um, and then reselling you know I've always kind of been a, a salesperson um, not like a used car salesperson because they're really annoying and slightly creepy um, <laughs> but um, I, I just I've always really enjoyed the process of, of transacting, you know, and the exchange of, of money and, um, you know, buying and selling things. That's really pretty. Look at that with the bird on there. I think that's handmade. That is gorgeous. Yeah, that's gotta be handmade. That is absolutely beautiful. Wow. That, that one's stunning. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so I, I actually had my first garage sale when I was 
somewhere between the ages of seven and nine years old. And I, I don't mean that, like, I helped out at my parents' garage sale. Like, no, I literally went to my mom and was like, I want to have a garage sale. And she was like, okay. And so I, I went and I, like, organized my own garage sale. I priced everything. I ran it, like, the whole nine yards. Um, so I just, I've always had that, you know, entrepreneurial spirit, you know, and I've always um, just really enjoyed the process of, buying and selling and bartering and, um, you know, bargaining and haggling and just all of that. So, um, you know, having my own little, I wouldn't call it a business cause it's, I don't do it full time. I would love to, but, um, um, but you know, having my own little, I would call it a side business of buying and selling jewelry and other, other things as well. But, um, jewelry is the main thing. Um, you know, it was just really enjoyable to me. So here's some really cute clip on brand new, uh, cameo earrings. Those are really cute. Um, it says contemporary, I think it's kind of worn off. Contempt, contempra, maybe, I don't know. Those are really cute though. Um, so yeah, um, it's just really fun to do this and you know it's fun to to go through the go through the lots and um clean things up and list them for sale and and you know I've met some new people doing this and and stuff so it's just I just find it enjoyable you know okay here's the next piece that has some really pretty colors in it there's and some great movement with the kind of pink and purple and red beads. And it's gold toned. Ooh, it goes with what I'm wearing too. Nice. It has a dangle here. What does that say? SP. Oh, Avon. Okay, so it's made by Avon. So it might have a little bit of age to it. It could be, it could be um, modern Avon too but they do have a lot of vintage stuff out there. So I'll probably just do a handful more items and then close this out, because once again, I don't want to bore you guys to death with two hours of me sorting through jewelry, because I don't, I don't think anybody wants that. But if you do, let me know in the comments, and I might... I might do a marathon video where I do just sort through jewelry for two hours. I mean, who knows, you know? Um, but since this is only my second video, I don't really know what, you know, what the demand is for yet. So, um, I'm still just kind of building, building a subscriber base and, and seeing what, what people want, um, and everything. So, but once again, if you see something that you like, um, please do let me know because everything that I'm showing is for sale. That's not the reason why I'm, I'm doing these videos. It's just kind of for the fun of it. And, um, I know people enjoy these types of videos cause I know I enjoy these types of videos. I know I, I watch them a lot. Um, and I enjoy watching what other people get at like, you know, thrift stores and just buying, you know, at, at garage sales and, you know, all sorts of other places. Um, so I don't want to sound like a salesperson, you know, like buy my stuff, but, um, I just want to let people know that, um, that the option is there. And if they do see something, they just absolutely have to have, um, you know, to please get in contact with me. Cause I would be more than happy to, to have you have it. So I don't know if you can see that, but it says faith and there's a cross and then there's a bunch of, um, like floating pink crystals in it so that's actually really pretty I don't know if it's sterling it says something right there so it I actually need to get a jeweler's loop that's like the only thing I don't have right now um, I have a I have a, a scale I have acid um, and a, a stone I have like everything except for a jeweler's loop I don't know why I don't have one yet. I just haven't gotten one. Um, 
what does that say? Uh, Adam, Atom, China. I don't know. But no, I don't see any 925 or anything, but that's a pretty piece. Um, ooh, here's a pretty one. I don't, I don't know if this is, I don't, what is, I don't know if that's vintage or what, but oh my goodness. Look at the sparkle on this. Good Lord. Ooh. Look at that. I mean, this one just speaks for itself. What? That's insane. That is so sparkly. Wow. And it has a, a hook enclosure. Um, or clasp, rather. Not really a clasp, but... You know what I'm trying to say. And then the stones even up there. Wow, that is just absolutely stunning. I've never seen a necklace like that. Oh, it has a it has a signature right a stamp right there. You, I know you're not gonna be able to see that, but it is there and it says Holly Craft Corp. Oh, copyright 1955. So I don't know if this necklace is from 1955 or if it just means that the company was founded in 1955. Um, looks like there's a couple stones missing. Um, one, two, I see two missing stones, three missing stones. But that's okay. I mean, it's, wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. Um, wow, alrighty. I'm going to have to do a little research on that brand. Um, just goes to show you never know what you're going to get. Um, and on, on that note, Midway Junior Pilot. I'm a pilot. You know. I can I can go and fly a plane now. Not really. <laughs> That's cute. What does this say? Stuffle seals. Tucka Tuckaho. Pat pending. That could have some value. You never know, really. Uh, people will buy anything. Here's a pretty kind of slate bluish. Moonstone necklace. I love these moonstone or, or faux moonstone um, necklaces. I love the way they catch the light. I think they're so neat. And then there's the back of that. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. My my two year old uh, rescue cat Pippin tends to go crazy um, when it's in the evening kind of later in the in the evening it's about um, 10 30 at night I think right now and um, he's like a gremlin he he starts to go crazy at night and yeah he's starting to run around so okay here's the next one has the a little bow there and then it's like three kind of thick chains that looks to have some age to it. it. Has some some wear there on the bow, but not a huge amount. That's still kind of neat. What else can we pull out? Nerd. Come on, let go. There we go. This is cool. Uh oh, I dropped one on the floor. No. Okay. Here we go. Here's a neat crescent man in the moon pendant on a chain. That's cool. I always think the celestial themed items are neat. They tend to sell well too, which is always cool. It's always a bonus. But yeah, that one's cool. 
Hello, man in the moon. Go in the box now. What else can we grab without having to do too much? I'm trying to grab things that are not too terribly um, jumbled or tangled. Um, that one, I think this is. Oh, I think this is supposed to be like that. Okay. This one has another... Oh, no, it's just a clasp there. That's kind of cool. I think this might have been handmade. It has the crossed chains there. At first I thought it was tangled, but... No, I'm not so sure. I think, it, I think they might just be like that on purpose. I think that's how the person made them. So you can see the kind of rainbow toned round beads. It's kind of a neat detail. So yeah, it's an interesting, what it looks like handmade piece. It's always nice to get the, you know, the artisan or handmade items in with the, you know, the mass produced stuff. Again, just something for variety. Okay. Here's a, yeah, this is definitely vintage. I can tell by the clasp. A nice long black beaded necklace. And then in between the black beads, you have the little, little tiny gold tone beads. And then, like I was saying, you can tell it's, vintage because they don't really make clasps like that anymore so it has that old style clasp to it and there is writing on there I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick that out pat I think it just says pat pending so patent pending but that's all right that's cool what else can you grab here Here's a fun little punk bracelet with the little studs there and the chains. And then the leather or faux leather piece there. Um, doesn't really feel like real leather, so it's probably just like pleather, but that's all right. That's still kind of kind of cool. Here we go. Oh, goodness. So many. Oh, there we go. Okay. Do, do, do. Here's a brown corded necklace with looks like it looks like the pendant is a whale's tail that's what it that's what it looks like to me but I could be wrong and then it has a little a little bead there on the side that's kind of neat it almost reminds me of like a like a fishing weight the shape of the of the the pendant there that's kind of cool yeah, again, I don't see any hallmarks or maker signs or anything, but that's okay. Oop, this one's in a little bag. Let me take it out. So, GSJC. I'm not familiar with that, but you can see the detail on those silver tone dingle heart earrings. They have some flowers on them. Here's a nice wide stretchy bracelet. It has some purple and red and pink. It's really pretty. A fun little ring with a rainbow, looks like zebra print on the 
in there. Oh, that's funky. Eh, it's in good condition. Cool. Alright. What do we have here? Ooh. It's a gorgeous slide, like really big slide pendant. But like a chandelier crystal on the end of that. I mean, look at the size of that thing. That's really big and really pretty. It's very eye-catching. You can see how it just slide on to just about any kind of necklace or chain. That's really, really cool. Yeah, it's kind of unique. Neat. Okay, I'll just do a couple more items and then let you guys go. Okay, so here is looks like a looks like a locket or like a photo frame uh, charm bracelet. It has a toggle uh, closure there. You can see it's looks like it's in pretty much new condition. All the the original inserts are in there, I think. Or is that, it almost looks like Elvis pictures, if I'm not mistaken. Are these Elvis pictures? No, there's a baby picture in that one. I don't think that's Elvis. No. Huh. I don't know. But yeah, they're little, um, like little individual photo frames um, are the charms. And then you can, you know, put in your own photos. Um so that's cool. And then it is, it does have a little um, maker's stamp here. And that's, again, going to be Premier Designs. So very cool little, little photo frame charm bracelet. Nice. Okay, here's another toggle bracelet. This one looks like... You know, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if this is if this is wood or tiger's eye, because it. Yeah, no, I don't think it's tiger's eye. It almost for a second there, it almost had that that shine of tiger's eye, but I think it's just um, the different layers. You can just see the different layers of wood. Um, but that's actually really neat. It's really unique and pretty. Look at that. That's very cool. Oh, and I just caught the brand name, Kenneth Cole, New York. That's a good brand. Kenneth Cole, you can almost see that. Yeah, buddy. Getting some designers, all right. Okay. Oh. Batman signal. No. Okay, so Batman isn't my favorite superhero, but he is still pretty cool. And if you're wondering, my favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Okay, so it does have, I don't know if this is vintage or, uh, what does it say on there? Uh, I don't know what that says, but it does have some writing on it. Um, yeah, I really need to get a jeweler's loop because my... As you can see, I am already as blind as a bat, um, and <laughs> it's getting worse as I get older. Um, actually, tomorrow's my birthday. Uh, July 25th is my birthday. I won't say how old I am, but um, yeah, it is my birthday. So, um, happy birthday to me. Um, I'm going to go out to lunch with my parents and my brother, so I'm looking forward to that. So... All right, next item is this leather bracelet with this tree, this cutout tree. It has some beads there. And it's by, what does that say? Fossil, I think. I think that's what that says. Yeah, Fossil. 
Very cool, another designer. Awesome. Ooh, and the tree, I didn't notice, but the tree has a little, a little rhinestone there. Yeah, there you go, there you can see it. That is very pretty. Oh, this one's adorable. Look at kitties. Meow, meow. It's almost this. I know it isn't because um, I'm looking at the back and I don't see the the signature. But this almost reminds me of Judith Jack, who um, she's a designer that sp uh, specializes in sterling silver and marcasite jewelry. Um, and this actually like looks like one of her designs. Um, but yeah, that's that's actually really pretty with the with the three kitties there. Um, so yes, I. I have again I have uh two rescue cats so I very much approve of the kitty cat jewelry. So that's a really neat little piece. I have Pippin sitting here um just outside of the the camera's range. He's uh supervising the jewelry sorting. <laughs> Looking very regal. <laughs> okay, next that's a looks like a really pretty snowflake. I won't start singing Let It Go, don't worry. <laughs> From Frozen. None of that nonsense here. No. But that is really pretty. Um and the I know you can't tell in the video, but the the yellow or, or off white portions are slightly glittery. Um the camera doesn't quite pick that up, but it's actually quite lovely in person. Um, it's not yellow snow, don't worry. Um, <laughs> no, it's actually quite lovely. So that's, that's pretty. Okay, I just noticed that the video is going on um, 45 minutes. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to keep everyone. Um, let's just do one more item. Get something cool here. Um, actually, yeah, just do do this guy this is actually really neat it's a ring and it's like one continuous coil of metal look at that and it ends in there that's, yeah that's interesting I've never had a ring quite like that before so hmm. that is quite cool looks like there's some like gunk or build up or something and almost looks like sugar. Maybe the previous owner was hungry and was eating sugar. I don't know. But yeah, that's actually really kind of unique and cool. Um, but I can clean that up. No problemo. Uh, again, no maker smarts, but very cool. So... All right, um, going on 15 minutes. I'm so sorry for keeping you guys so long. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. Um, I think I'm going to start uh, doing some giveaways once I get up to, um, let's say, 50 subscribers. I will do some sort of really cool giveaway. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you at the next one. Echo out.